The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Well, they deemed it four-down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. And yes, everyone, that was the fullback carrying the football. I know it's a dying breed. It's a dying position for a lot of people, but I still think it's valuable and important, especially one who can carry the ball. And you need short yardage. What makes sense? Go to a big body, let him plow forward just like he did there. It's still a big man's game. A run there on first down and a pretty good one at five yards, so make it second and five. Marcus Gilchrist there to bring him down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Watson now, operating from the gun. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work up the seat. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Well, there is still time to recover from this. It remains a two-score game even with the two points there. But let's just say things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you. Things are definitely not trending in the right direction. They needed something on that drive. Instead, they gave up two points and a lot of hope. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw him through three corners, no reason to lighten up now. Let's go, team. Let's go. Slam, slam. Got him up. On second down, it's Wade. And a well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they have... need the football back that's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through if you do blitz do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles you have to be careful about where you're coming from obviously but at this stage you have to take a few chances as well 
A 20th carry here for Elliott. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. From the gun on third, Watson. Fuller brings it in over the middle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 23. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence? And they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. Throwing on second down, Watson. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, the secondary has really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. From the gun, Watson. That's caught by Treadwell. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 12-yard line. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Ezekiel Elliott, his tenth touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Texans push further out in front. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? This certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You can see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. 
This is fielded a couple yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Foles and the Jags come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A pass there, complete to Westbrook. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Face mask. Defense. Charles, I know it's hard when live bullets are flying, but you cannot keep your hand up around the face mask area. It is absolutely inexcusable nowadays. We talk about target areas all the time. You have to aim lower so that your hand doesn't get involved in the face mask. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here's Foles. He hits blue. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Now Foles. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And he'll get that to Fournette. Complete. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. They'll look to throw. And finding Keelan Cole. Foles going to come up now, first and ten. And he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Second and ten. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Alfred Blue, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars make some inroads here on that deficit. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. A good move on the carry, but still brought down just inside the 40. Face mask. Defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty's not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. They'll keep it on the ground. Wayne, he is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll try the left side. It's Wade. 
And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And that will get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. And they'll indeed take a knee. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for Houston, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, they are barely afloat as they fall to 4-5. and five. And they're going to get an extra week to stew over this as they're not back in action until week 11. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.